my fraud by making a leather case for a disposable camera? Am I just putting lipstick on a pig? This is what I was thinking when I was making this project. It's a bit existential, but I was really grappling with the authenticity in my interest in photography. But I found some comfort in the words of Kodak's founder over a hundred years ago. I'll be repurposing leather from an old couch to make camera cases and a camera bag for Kodak and Fuji disposable cameras. But why am I doing this in the first place? When my wife was pregnant with our daughter, I had a nostalgic urge to document my daughter's experiences in the same way my mom did for me when I was a kid. I've always been interested in photography. I used to think I was a photojournalist for Nat Geo, but DSLRs were too complicated for me. I know that fine tuning aperture, shutter speed, and ISO are all parts of the skill of photography, but I prefer point and shoot for their speed to capture life experiences quickly and authentically. Plus, the imperfections of a disposable camera can hide my flaws as a novice photographer. My weapon of choice is Kodak's disposable camera. For me, Kodak symbolizes classic American heritage. The company is well past its prime, but their disposable camera is still available on Amazon or at the local pharmacy. Fuji is also easily accessible, so I'll be making a pattern for that style as well. I used this off-brand camera from my friend's wedding to conceptualize the objective. But to make a pattern that uniquely fits each camera, I needed to tape them up, draw out where the material should land, and cut it into a flat shape. that initial pattern to make a mock-up with this cheap synthetic leather and then I added some masking tape to write some notes and finally I just transferred those notes onto another pattern and basically just gonna send it from there My design motifs were adventurous, timeless, and durable. I used these as a guiding light in my inspiration and design process. This leather came from a couch I found on Facebook Marketplace. I've talked about this story in more detail in a previous video, but when I picked up the couch, the owner was shocked to hear that I planned on cutting it up. The lining for the camera bag is a pigskin leather in a lighter brown for contrast. this point where I started questioning my intentions. Is it tacky making a leather case for a disposable camera? Can I be taken seriously with a disposable camera? I had to go soul searching internally and on the internet to find answers. Internally, I found solace knowing I'm just a hobbyist. And on the internet, 
I found that Kodak was founded for hobbyists just like me. George Eastman founded Eastman Kodak in the 1880s with the goal to bring photography to the masses by making photography as easy as a pencil. Photography takes a lot of skill now, but it was even more like a science experiment back then. And Kodak simplified the user experience, telling their consumers, you press the button, we do the rest. This knowledge of Kodak's mission from the beginning made me feel more comfortable to embrace the kookiness of a disposable camera. years I've been working to become a Nat Geo photographer, I haven't improved much, but I have learned a few things. First, photos are a still image, but to me, they're also a living memory of shared experiences I have with the people I love. Second, the composition is more important than the camera. Like Eastman said, light makes photography. Embrace light admire it, love it, but above all, know light. Know it for all you're worth, and you will know the key to photography. time worrying about what other people think of me. In terms of photography, I've come a long way and I still have a lot to learn. But if there are gatekeepers chirping because I choose to use a disposable camera, then f them. I'm being authentic to myself and as long as I remember that, I don't have anything to prove to anyone.